In a recently found half-renovated house in Pompeii, the workday never ended. Roof tiles sit in neat rows, walls stop mid-rise, and piles of pale gray powder still hold a shovel mark, frozen when Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD. Archaeologists realized this wasn't just any ruin. It was a construction site paused mid-mix, letting scientists watch Roman builders at work from 2,000 years away. Samples from half-built walls and the dry piles beside them showed the same recipe. A dry blend of volcanic ash, stone fragments, and quicklime, ready for water to be added. When water hit this dry mix, it triggered hot mixing, temperatures high enough to partially bake the lime but leave some grains intact. Years later, when cracks form and rainwater seeps in, those grains dissolve, sending calcium into the fractures and recrystallizing as calcite and aragonite, a kind of stone scar tissue that helps the concrete heal itself and keep water at bay for centuries. Back in 2023, a study showed in the lab that hot-mixed Roman concrete with lime clasts could repeatedly seal its own cracks. The new Pompeii study proves that recipe was not a one-off. It was standard practice on real building sites. Today, we rely on Portland cement, sand, and gravel, often wrapped around steel bars that eventually rust and force cracks open. Our mixes can typically only self-heal hairline fractures and is short-lived in harsh environments. Roman concrete, by contrast, has no rebar to corrode and lime clasts that help heal larger cracks which endure in seawater. Under the ash of Pompeii, an unfinished Roman house is still teaching our engineers how to pour cleaner and tougher concrete for the future. If discoveries like this fascinate you, subscribe to Dig Drops for daily archaeology stories so you don't miss the next big find.